Bold in the beautiful spoilers for September 2, 2019 see Detective Alex Sanchez, Jeremy Ray Valdez, keeps grilling Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, about how Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, wound up in the state he's in. He sped out of the interview with Flo Fulton, Katrina Bowden, right after she clued him in on Thomas making threats. The LAPD cop showed up to get a glimpse of Brooke and with Thomas. Of course, she's unapologetic and told the comatose villain that it's karma. Here's a look at the Monday B&B episode on CBS Daytime. Just like Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, Brooke Logan offered nothing but scorn and accusations to the injured man. Sure, he's got a villainous streak, but that's her stepson and her hubby's distraught he might die. With the info from Flo that Thomas kept the baby secret, Detective Alex Sanchez has some very pointed questions. Alex asks Ridge again on Friday's show if someone was mad enough to hurt Thomas, confirm Bold and the beautiful spoilers. Now, Hope's changing her story. Also, if Ridge rats out Brooke to the cops, that would be pretty hypocritical payback. Because Brooke's covered for him before. Perhaps Detective Sanchez needs to ask why there's another near-fatal shoving involving these families. It wasn't that long ago that Ridge and his brother shoved Bill Spencer, Don Diamond, off a balcony. Then. Sanchez was at the hospital asking about that with Brooke Logan right in the middle of that scene too, remind Bold and the beautiful spoilers. Things look dire, according to B&B spoilers, as Thomas continues to lie there unconscious. There's a risk of brain damage and possible neurological surgery. The Bold and the Beautiful fans aren't sure why Shauna is so shocked. She's visiting her daughter in jail. She wants to see Flo, she wants to spend some time with her, and she wants to find out what she can do to make this all go away and to potentially help, but things are a bit more out of control than others imagined. You see, there is nothing good about any of this. There is not a thing that will make this situation easier on anyone, and there is nothing we can do to make sure anyone else is good to go. She's not sure what she thought she might see in here, but she is really facing reality now that she's there visiting her daughter. The entire weight of this situation did not sit on her shoulders until just now, and we cannot believe she didn't know how serious this was until now. What was she thinking?
They are never going to be able to forgive one another for this type of ugliness, and we get it. We know that is the truth, and we don't expect anything less of either of them. And, in fact, we aren't that upset about this ending situation. If Justin knew, he probably wouldn't have cheerfully waltzed into Casa Wyatt and gushed with Bill about baby Beth. Who knew, back in 2011 to 2012, when Bill was actively campaigning against Hope by locking her in gondolas and sitching paparazzi on her because she was sleeping with a married man, that the Dola would one day be disappointed because Hope wasn't there with his granddaughter. Bill wanted Justin to find out what judge would be on the Reese slash Flo case so he could be privy to all the information surrounding it, then Justin stepped in and reminded Bill how Ridge had influenced Judge McMullen. Great continuity, that kind of a weird time to bring that up. You want weird? Try this. Hope had Justin handle her upcoming legal cases for her because Carter was out of town. Along those lines, Hope tasked Justin with fast-tracking an annulment from Thomas. I don't think that's necessary, either. The fact that Beth is alive should invalidate Lope's annulment, because it proves they consummated their marriage, as if the fact they were expecting a child didn't already prove it. And that would mean Hope's marriage to Thomas was not legal, instantly making it null and void. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers for Monday, September 2nd, tease that the Forrester, Logan, and Spencer families will wait anxiously for word about Thomas Forrester's, Matthew Atkinson, condition. As B&B viewers know, Thomas is in very serious condition at the hospital after falling off the cliff outside of Steffi Forrester's, Jacqueline McKenna's Wood, house. He was in the middle of an argument with Hope Logan, Annika Noel, when Brooke Forrester, Catherine Kelly Lane, intervened. She pushed Thomas, and Thomas fell over the cliff. Of course, those who know Thomas are aware of his many misdeeds over the past few months. He not only kept the secret about Beth Spencer, River Davidson and Madeline Valdez, being alive, but he manipulated both Hope and Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samiri. In addition, he was heavily involved in Emma Barber's, Nia Sue, fatal car accident, so he's going to have a lot to answer for when he wakes up.
Of course, Detective Sanchez also knows how Brooke felt about Thomas prior to the accident. B&B viewers will remember that Detective Sanchez visited Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., and Brooke at their mansion to ask questions about Thomas' whereabouts. He surely picked up on Brooke's hostility and animosity toward Thomas, and now he's going to want to ask her some tough questions about what happened.